when the farmers arrive here with the maize, they deliver it and we store it into the silos until we need it. And then we draw it from the silos and we actually take it to our bin where we are going to hammer mill uh, the maize. And as soon as we have hammer milled the maize, at this stage, we get the fine maize milled here, uh, which is still in a very raw form. And then we take it from the fine maize, we take it to our extrusion process where we are going to cook it. So as soon as we take it from our milling phase, we take it to this holding bin and we add it to the holding bin and after we've added it here, it goes to our extrusion process and in this phase, we actually cook it in 30 seconds. In the extrusion phase, we actually get the final product out that looks like small cooked pallets and then we take it through our blowing system. So when it uh, arrives at our counter flow dryer, we blow through air through it in order to reduce the moisture to go to the hammer mill. And as soon as it's gone to the hammer mill, it goes to our mixing station. Okay, so when the product is milled, it goes into the bin. So at this phase, we sit with extruded cooked maize. So we went from, from the farmer, going through this whole process and ending up here with the extruded cooked maize. So in this bin we have the sugar which is added and then we add it to our mixing bin. So in this case you get the extruded cooked maize, you get the sugar and at our micro feeder you get the vitamins and minerals, your flavoring and your skin milk powder which is mixed together and then dropped and going to the packaging. So at this phase, when the porridge is all mixed together, we take our polyprop bags, we bag the porridge and then we stitch it and after stitching it, we take it onto the conveyor and onto a pallet and pack it and palletize it. CFAM was established as a spin-off company of the NWU in 2007 to commercialize and further develop the technology. One of the products manufactured using the technology is a maize porridge which contains sufficient nutrients to meet the recommended dietary allowance. All porridges are also fortified with essential vitamins, minerals and immune boosters. When you develop a product, our aim is really to provide a nutritious, affordable product at the end of the day. And in this case, especially the porridge that we developed for the COVID-19 crisis um, and through the hunger stages that we have and poverty, we really try to make our focus on the, on the micronutrients as well that is essential to strengthen your immune system. That's why we developed this porridge in order to have 17 essential vitamins and minerals in it we added a lot of vitamin A's, B's, C's, D's and E's and we also added uh, minerals, in this case iron and zinc and selenium, that really contributes to taste and um, uh, smell at the end of the day and strengthening your immune system. The porridge is fully cooked in an extrusion factory. Extrusion is a continuous cooking process that is ideal for producing large amounts of food. The high cooking temperatures and pressures ensure that the food produced is sterile and thus safe. The CFAM factory has the capacity to produce 240,000 meals per day. There are more than 60 extruders operating in Southern Africa and plants are being erected in Canada, Northern Ireland and Pakistan. The prepared porridges are packed in 5 kg polypropylene bags with plastic liners for improved food safety and longer shelf life. The open edges of the bags are folded and then stitched for enhanced protection against insect infestation. A single family bag will be enough to feed a family of 5 for a week. The product will last for 6 months if the bag remains sealed. For a meal of 250 grams, mix 50 gram dry porridge and 200 ml cold water or milk. The cost of such a meal is only one rand and no additional cooking is needed. The 5 kilogram family bags are then loaded and transported directly to the consumer. 